Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with the brand new 2021 Panini Absolute Baseball 5 box random team break number 2 from jazbeescasebreaks.com Everyone, one spot gets you two teams and all cards ship. A lot of nice stuff out of here. Big thanks to this group for getting into the action. Let's double you up like Sir Mix-a-Lot. All 30 baseball teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and teams. Uh, lucky seven times. Four and a three. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven, we've got Brian down to Robert. Four and a three, seven times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, and good luck. Seventh and final time. After seven, we've got the Halos down to the Nats. Boop, boop, and boop. Now, trades are allowed. Trade at your own risk, though. Brian with the Angels with Last Spot Mojo. Rick with the Reds. Fuad with the Pirates. James with the Phillies. Jeff with the Rangers. Chris with the O's. Robert with the White Sox and the Tigers. James with the Cardinals. Jeff with the Rays. Dayton, you've got my rivals, the Giants. Mike with the Royals. Anthony with the Diamondbacks. Brian with the Astros. Chris with the Twins. Mike with the Blue Jays. Rick with the Brew Crew. Anthony, you got my Dodgers. Brian with the A's. Fuad with the Marlins. Dayton with the Rockies, Robert with the Indians, Anthony with the Mariners, Anthony also has the Mets, Robert with the Cubs, Red Sox, Braves, and Padres, Brian with the Yankees, and Robert with the Washington Nationals. Can I get all that on one screen? There we go. So let's sort by column B. So there's Diamondbacks down to the Nats. And we're going to pause the video for just a second. When we come back, well, for, for more seconds, but for you watching the replay, it'll be instantaneous. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades and then the break. Stick around. All right, welcome back, folks. No trade chatter, so no no deals were done. It's all good here in Five Box Random Team Break Number 2. Brand new Absolute Baseball. Thanks, everybody, for getting in. Appreciate it. So that list you saw remains the same. All right, now here's the second half of the break of the absolute case that Jason popped open a little bit earlier today. Two packs per box, 10 cards per pack. We're looking for two autograph, two memorabilia cards per box on average. Jason was saying that, that there are Kaboom cards in this baseball now, which is great. Kaboom stuff is really nice. some base cards on that's an autograph right there all right i think all cards ship in this right did everyone read the description i'll read my own description all cards ship all cards ship so all these cards will go next to 149 and all these numbered cards and hits of course will be top loaded by our team all of this will ship otani having a good year and there's Salvador Perez to 149 for the Royals. That'll be for Mike Tower. The Tony Lazeri goes to the Yankees. That'll be for Brian. The two hits behind Mookie is we got Ahmed Rosario. Nice. 11 out of 25. Tools of the trade dual relic. Looks like still his uh, Mets colors here, but he's the Indians on this card. That'll be for Robert and the Tribe. And the autograph behind Mookie is Absolute Inc. Uh, Tommy Edmond, 15 out of 49 for the Cardinals. That's going to be for James Owens and St. Louis. All right, Alec Baum, DJ LeMayhew. Boba to 199, JT Real Muto to 149. And behind Acuna is 
A Rymel Tapia, Tools of the Trade, Dual Relic for the Rocks. That'll be for Dayton and the Rockies. Top loaders. It's kind of hard to see, but th th that's purple in the background right there. It looks pretty nice. The lighting's a little weird right at the moment right now. And back here is another Rymel Tapia. <laughs> All right. I want to mix that up a little bit for next time, just pro tip for next time, Panini. All right, box two of five. This is random team break number two. And the next half uh, is gonna be from a fresh case. So pop over to jazbeescasebreaks.com and check it out. Um, well, how much are we charging for this? 60 bucks and one spot gets you two teams. 30 bucks a team, it's not bad. There's Braylon Marquez, rookie class to 25 for Robert and the Cubbies. Trevor Story to 199. Is he gonna get? He might get traded. He's on the IL right now, but there's a chance that he may get moved. Behind Yachty is Dakota Hudson, 30 out of 99. St. Louis, James. And behind Yachty is a Casey Mize. Nice. Autograph on a piece of wood. It's a cool look. 11 out of 50. I think he's, he's doing pretty, pretty solid, playing some solid baseball this year. Former number one overall pick. In a couple, within a couple years or so, a couple years or so, him, like Torkelson maybe up together, Riley Green, all those guys. A lot of Tigers youngsters coming up the ranks. That'll go to Robert Flores. And the Tigers. He's near Nate Pearson to 149. It's Michael Conforto for the Mets to 199. And behind Javier Baez is David Wright. Tools of the trade. Two color dual relic for the Metropolitans. Anthony with the Mets. Behind Javier Baez is Jonathan Stever. Dual relic and autograph. 27 out of 35 for Chicago. Chicago uh, White Sox, that is. The Southsiders. That goes to Robert Flores. Robert has both the Northsiders and the Southsiders. Next one. All right, next two mini boxes. Good luck. And kaboom. Nice, Ken Griffey Jr. 
Kaboom card, Seattle edition. And that's for Anthony P. Nice. Love those Kaboom cars. There's Nolan Arenado to 199. And well, there's a nice patch. 55 out of 99. That's Travis Arenado. Nice Mets patch for Anthony. Is Griffey any good? Yeah, he's going he's gonna to be okay, Riffer. He's all right. And dual relic and autograph, Nick Nider. 28 out of 49. Two color, dual relic and autograph. And that's for Fuad and the Marlins. All right, let's see what we got here. We got Gil Hodges. We got a Chris Bryant Icons card to 99. And we got a Javier Baez this time to 149. Maybe something, Riffer saying maybe something Griffey will be as good as Tebow. Griffey should be so lucky. There's Jason Dominguez. Nice tools of the trade. For those of you who don't understand sarcasm, Riffer is making a joke. It's called a joke. All right, Jason Dominguez goes to Brian. And Luis Camposano, 25 out of 49. For the Padres. Nice one for the Friars. That'll be for Robert. All right, two boxes to go. Jeff Nance is saying, hey, these cards look great this year. I think they do. I don't think they really changed up the design too much. But you know what they do here. Well, let's take a look at the next packs right here. Well, Riffer, I had to make that disclaimer because there are a lot of people, believe it or not, that don't understand jokes or sarcasm. It's hard in the, in the, in the media world. It's not always understandable. But, you know... Sometimes I make the Brett Favre joke, and then inevitably Nick tells me, I don't look at the comments, but Nick tells me, he's, Nick's just like, yeah, someone's like, it's far, bro, and then I'm just like, come on, did someone really comment that? So, you know, so I, 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 gotta, I gotta make those, I gotta make those disclaimers. Nice. Sam saying fine is sold out, great. We'll add that to the schedule after we do a couple more breaks. There's Gil Hodges to 149. There's Manny Machado to 199. And we got Christian Yelich, who's back in action, who looks like he's starting to kind of heat up again. Yelich, Brewers, Rick Thomas. Yeah, Riffer, it happens, man. So as Jeff was pointing out, I think they didn't really do too much in the design, but I feel like they have a different sort of, they have a different sheen on top. I feel like they did something different with the coating or something like that. I don't know, there's more of a, like a shiny sort of top on there. I feel like that's different from last year. Ooh, this is, these are nice. Anderson Tejada, nice. Autograph right on the sweet spot right there. That goes to the Rangers. It'll be for Jeff Nance and the Rangers. There you go, Jeff. 
just talking about how nice these look, you're going to get one of these going your way. Yeah, I think they did something different with the colors or the coating or something like that, so which makes it look nice. There's Ryan Sandberg. There's Rhino again. Miguel Cabrera to 199. Yeah, the surface or foil or whatever you want to call it, it does make all the difference, Riff. I, I I agree. So they didn't do too anything too differently with the with the actual design itself, which is fine. I like the absolute design. But they just made a little different change on the foil right here. That that gives it a, gives a little extra a little extra pop. There's Jeff McNeil for the Mets, Anthony, with the Metropolitans. And behind Ryan Sandberg is Jesus Sanchez, another autograph right on the sweet spot. Yeah, these, these especially look really sharp. When did they start introducing the, sweet, the, the baseball pattern? Maybe a couple years ago? It's a nice touch. So another Marlin for Fuad. Nine out of 35. Last box coming up. Good luck, everybody. Remember, the next one is from a fresh case. So the next uh, half case Ram team break, fresh case. That. What's going on right there? Oh, I see. I, I think I see what's happening. One of those uh, those baseball autographs. It looks like the looks like the hit is just too big for the card. There's JT Real Muto to 199 for the Phillies, James. The hits are nice Denilson Lamette. I like that camo patch in the middle. Robert with the Padres. And then behind Max Scherzer is Christian Javier. A lot of upside this Christian Javier. I got him on my fantasy team. Brian with the Astros. Five out of 60. So this one looks okay. It looks like the, the... Does this guy get traded? Max Scherzer? I think he's on the last year of his deal. And the Nationals aren't doing really well at the moment. Two months into the season, into a long season. But I think I know this. This is said in baseball circles. I first heard from Vin Scully, where it's like the first two months of the season, April and May, you kind of stand pat. You see what you have and see how things turn out. Then June and July is where you think about, all right, what deals are we going to try to make? And then August and September, you just roll with the change that you make, and that's that's your team going into the postseason. Especially with the waiver deadline and the trade deadline, I think, smashed into one, right? So we don't have a waiver deadline at the end of August anymore. I think that's still happening. Miguel Cabrera to 199. I think that was a pre-pandemic rule. All right, behind Royce Lewis, the last two hits. We First of all, we got Drew Stillwaters. Run deep. Nice tools of the trade card going to Robert and the ATL. And the last one here is Tristan McKenzie, two out of 25. So you can see that the stitching of the baseball right there has kind of split that card apart, but still still nice looking one for uh, the tribe. So that'll be for Robert and the Indians, two out of 25. Now there is a chance you may be able to, I don't know how much of a difference it's going to make. I mean, it looks like once it's inside the top loader, it's kind of seemed to 
press those back down, but if you want to, you may be able to reach out to top, or top Panini and see if they can get you a replacement turn. But a nice hit nonetheless. There's Royce Lewis at the end right there. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That was 2021 Panini Absolute Baseball 5-box uh, random team break number 2. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.